You take TJ. Come on, let's go now. Come on. Terry. Terry, you're going to be all right. And evidence is on its way. Now you see where all this drinking gets please, you. Come on, please. Oh, mate, wait. Come through, love. Come through. Terry, what's happened? Yeah, Give the baby to me. All right. Oh, God. Oh. What's wrong with you? Say something. No. He can't speak. Why? What's wrong with him? Don, you mustn't panic. Okay, you're not going to help him if you panic. Terry. Anyone home? Oh, hi, Eddie, love. Come on in. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've not been long in. Would oh. you want to go out again? Uh, what a line dancing. Oh, I'd love to. Uh, Kane, can you look after Belle for me? <clears throat> not me. I'm going out. Well, I thought you said you were stopping in. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. I'll mind Belle for you, Lisa. But I thought you were going out. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind too. You go out and enjoy yourself. <sighs> well, I'll, uh, I'll just wash my face and I'll see you down the wall pack. <laughs> He just, he, he just folded up like uh, uh, on the floor. Yeah. He collapsed about twenty minutes ago. You're right, pal. Can you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Any pain anywhere? Mm. Can you squeeze my finger? Good man. And the other one. Uh, uh... What's, what's he trying to say? I can't understand what he's trying to say. Are you his wife? No, 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 I am. Oh, I'm sorry, love. You come in with us in the ambulance? Just even into a sitting position. Uh, can, I, can I bring the baby? No, I'm sorry, Two. love. It wouldn't be safe. Not in the ambulance. No, but I, I want to. You go in the ambulance. Here, here, we'll bring the baby in. Thank you, love. Okay. Try not to worry, love. It's seldom as bad as it seems. All right, Terry. What's that, pal? Come on, you will come straight away, won't you? We'll be right behind you. What's happened? Who is it? It's Terry. He collapsed. The baby will be fine. Just give me a seat. Put your belt on. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, listen, I've got to go. Yeah, Bob, will you call me from the hospital? Tell me he's OK. Yeah. Just folded on the floor. Oh, it was awful, wasn't it, Jarvis? Aye. I mean, one minute he's doing the conger and the next. <sighs> Just shows you. You never know when you get up at morning whether you're going to get safe to bed at night. Aww. Hey, imagine if something like that happened to any of us. We'd have no one. Well, hope we'd all muck in, help each other. Yeah. But that's not the same, is it? Ever since my island died, it's preyed on my mind. Or it must be like to die alone. But we all die alone at the end. Oh, for goodness sake, can't we change the subject? D does it bother you getting old on your own? No. Does it bother you? Well, I like it. Couldn't have been the drink that did it, could it? Well, it can't have helped coming on top of everything else. Mm. It's more likely to be stress. All the extra stuff he was doing up at home farm. Yeah. Lisa said Chris had a brain tumour. Yeah, Terry was the only one I knew. Chris didn't tell me. He never even told Charity. Yeah, it must have been a burden, carrying around a secret like that. Shall I get Louise to get some coffee? I'd rather have a brandy. Ah, me and all. Louise, three large brandies, please. Well, me. I don't know who's going to look after who. Me, I mean, neither me nor Seth. This is steady on the spins as we were. I thought we were changing the subject. Can't you think of something cheerful to say? Well, we've just had a friend carted off to the hospital, Edna. Now, that's not the reason that you're looking so down in the mouth. Maybe not. But that's my business. Witness collapse in a pub about an hour ago. Pupils equal and reactive. Moaning sounds not making much sense. Our base on the left, but not on the right. No, 
Yeah. No, no, he's just a bit drowsy. Take a seat outside, love. We'll be with you in a minute. No, I want to stay with him. No, 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 no. Best leave it to the no. experts. But what was the point of me coming? No, 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 no. no. Now, let you in to see him just as soon as they can. No, let me in, Terry. Please come, come let on, me love, in. Love, love, come on. I'll, I'll get you a cup of tea. Hey? Come on. Please. Don't you? How come he was still there when the ambulance came? Did he miss your bus? Not exactly. It came and I didn't get on it. Oh. So I sat there for a while wondering what to do next and... I'm sorry, Leonard. You must think I'm a right old flirt. Yeah, I thought I'd been given the green light, yes. So, are you going to tell me why you didn't catch the bus? I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to try and explain, but... I couldn't face coming back in here with that lot. Hmm, I know what you mean. So, would you like to go somewhere more private? Yeah, OK. Come on, let's go back to my place. Oh, she knows how to hook a fella, doesn't she? Where are they going? I thought she turned him down. Oh, that's what you think. That is just part of the dance, is that? To a woman like her, isn't it, Edna? How's Terry? What's happening? I don't know. Nobody's telling me anything. Oh, darling, I've missed you. Has it been all right? Absolutely fine. Why don't you go and find someone to ask? Mrs Woods? Yeah? Dr Wilkley's just sent your husband down for a CT scan. Well, what do they think it is? It's a stroke. A stroke? But the CT no. scan... Whoa! Whoa. It's, it's all right. She's only fainted. She's fresh out of hospital after having the baby. Oh, yeah. We'd better get someone to look at her then, too. Come on. Uh, do you take milk? Uh, yes. Can I ask you something? Yes. Well, did I say something? You know, where did I go wrong? Oh, Leonard, love, it's not you, it's me. I'm the one who... They think I'm a right old slapper, don't they, the rest of them? They don't! Oh, come on, they do so. <laughs> Look, I know I put on a bit of a front, always fooling around, pretending to be the life and soul, but... Well, I've only ever had two fellas in my whole life. And both of them are gone. And... Well? Well, I only want a relationship if it means something. Ah, but you can't always tell that at the start, can you? No, but... Well, what you're saying is you don't like me enough to try. No, I'm not saying that at all. Of course I like you. It's just... It's just I think you think I'm up for a casual fling. And I'm not. <sighs> Why don't somebody tell us something? Are you sure you don't need anything to eat? No. I think he's hungry, though. I'll go and ask them if they can make him up a bottle, shall I? No, I don't need him to, to make up a bottle. I'll feed him. Well, I just thought with everything going no, on... No, I can feed him, all right. Mrs Woods, I'm Dr Wilkley. Hello. How are you feeling? You're just newly delivered, I hear. Yeah, she's exhausted. She doesn't know which way's up. <laughs> well, I have some news for you. I've uh, been looking at your husband's CT scan. He's had what we call an ischemic stroke. That? It's when the blood supply to part of the brain is interrupted. In your husband's case, there's a blockage to one of the major arteries on the left-hand side of his brain. Is he in pain? No, no, there's no pain, but he's lost movement down the right-hand side of his body and his speech is affected. This is Terry. He's not old enough. I'm afraid strokes can occur at any age. I'm sorry. He's going to be all right, isn't he? He's going to live. Well, it's a pretty severe stroke. But these days, stroke patients can often make a pretty good recovery. The next 48 hours are crucial, really. Now, I know you're upset, but there is something I need to discuss with you. There's a new clot-busting drug which they use with patients who have had a stroke. It's undergoing clinical trials. Now, if you wanted, Terry could be a part of that trial. 
He would have his smoker, mind. I know. You see, it doesn't help. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's because he worked for the Tates. <laughs> I tell you, they're like a curse on this village. Anyone who ever got involved with Chris Tate, sooner or later, the life were in pieces. I can see you don't believe you should never speak ill of the dead. None of his name's Tate. Ah, uh, Jack's gonna have to watch it now, mind. He will. Cos Zoe will pile all the work onto him, just like Chris Tate did with Teddy. He'll be next one in Otten General if he don't look out. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for being your own man. Not working for anyone. Oh, you're right there, Rodney. You're a man after my own heart. That's uh, 5.70, please, Jarvis. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, wait till my Seth hears what's happened. I'm surprised you weren't straight on the phone to him. Well, I can't, can I? Cos it's the middle of the night over there. But, oh, it will be upset, cos he was very fond of Terry. He's not dead yet, you know. I know, I know. Oh, that poor Dawn. She's going to have her hands full now, I know. Has, uh, has she told Diane? Uh, yeah, phoned her just after it happened. She'll be another one who's upset, cos she was very fond of Terry, she was. She still is! I mean, I can't make a decision like that. How am I supposed to know whether a drug's gonna work for Terry? That's your job. Well, unfortunately, none of us can predict that. All I can tell you is that it works by dissolving the clot. Now, with some patients, that means a dramatic improvement within a few hours, but with other people, it can cause bleeding into the brain with fatal results. I know, it's difficult. How soon does she have to decide? An hour at most. These drugs only work if they're given within the first three hours after the stroke has occurred. Look, let me leave you to think about it for a while, and you might like to look at this information sheet. It uh, tells you all about it, all right? Thank you. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm not surprised. But you can't take it all in, I know I can't.
Daddy been in yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen him today. That's 180, please, Lisa. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Um, oh, what's this I hear about Terry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right in the middle of watching the baby's head. One minute he's bellowing and dancing with a bastard, and then on the floor. We all thought he'd just fell over. Oh, my. Just after Chris dying and everything. I know. Makes you wonder who's going to be next. Oh, and Dawn left alone with that little baby. Ah. It puts it all in perspective, doesn't it? It certainly does. Mm. Are you uh, are you drinking on your own? Uh, oh, no, actually. Um, I, I, I'm meeting someone. Oh, I see. Sorry I'm late. Uh, I've just been hearing from Bob. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Why are you both dressed like that? We're going line dancing. Oh, line dancing at your age? Yes. Yeah, well, you'll be the next one to collapse then, eh? Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. Oh, well, I suppose I better drink this. Um, actually, uh, do you mind if I have a quick bite? I'm starving. Oh, no, no. You uh, get yourself something to eat. <laughs> You know, I'm scared. I'm scared to say, yeah, give him the drug in case he dies. And I'm scared if I don't, I'm doing the wrong thing. Oh, shut up, I can't think. Bob, why don't you take the baby out for some air? Now it's dark outside. Yes. Is it yes. <coughs> Dawn needs some space. There you go. Come on. Hopeless in a crisis. What would you do if it were my dad? I don't know. If you saw him, do you think that would help to make up your mind? I don't know, maybe. I do I do want to see him, yeah. Okay, I'll go and find that nurse. Very tasty, this. Good. All right, Lise. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, it's all right. No, Bell's fine. Sam came back early and Kay never went. Oh, he can be so contrary. Well, Bob said he was going to ring, but he hasn't. And you're on your own here. Why don't you ask Chastity to cover for a bit? Yeah, good idea. Uh, Chaz, huh? can you look after the bar for half an hour, please? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Ooh, in sole charge. My big night. <laughs> well, uh, shall we make a move? Well, it's not really worth it now, is it? I mean, the dance will be over by the time we get there. We can still catch the last half hour. Come on. Be a laugh. <sighs> no, I'm... I'm I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Is this about Zack? No. Not really. It's about Terry. You were a good friend to Zack and me. Makes me realise how much we've got in common. Zack and me. I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm not being very fair to you, am I? said he can't understand. It's all right, Terry. Say it's gonna be fine. I just had a bit of a shock, that's all. Can I tell you what happened? Hey? Yeah, he knows. Better if you don't stay too long. He's very tired. No, no, no I'm his vicar. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, bye. It was a stroke, and he's comfortable. That's all they would say. Oh, poor Terry. Oh, poor you. It's a shock when these things happen to friends, and I know how fond you are of him. Well, he's the most reliable, kind-hearted, unselfish man I know. Oh, I'll never forget how nice he was to me when Ray died. And I wasn't very kind to him. I'm sure he understood. Yeah. Well, he deserved better. Oh, I just, you never know, do you? Poor Dawn. Well, 
cut-off point's coming soon. If you want him to have those... Oh, clothes, shut up, Dad. Uh, Mrs Woods, how are you doing? I just wondered if you'd uh, made a decision. I'm sorry, I, I can't risk it. It's perfectly all right, I understand. It's, uh, it's not an easy choice. I think you should probably go home and try and get some sleep. You're going to need all the energy for that uh, little fellow. We'll phone you if there's any change, and I'll uh, see you in the morning, right? I mean, I'd never forgive myself, you know, if I said, yeah, and he died of a brain hemorrhage, I don't know. No, 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 I understand, but it's just that... What? Well, well it's how he's going to be left, isn't it? Are you all right? Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Dr. Wilkley! Dr. Wilkley, wait! What have I said? How's your bruise? Nearly gone. Can I see? No. Why not? I'm shy. <laughs> no, you're not. Look, I'll show you my bruise the day you decide to go to bed with me. Oh, well, it'll be long gone by then. Unless you are planning on getting around to it someday. Hey! Oh, stop it. <laughs> you're so flaming pleased with yourself, you know that. Yeah, well, there's a lot to be pleased about, isn't there? <laughs> You're back early. Fancy man stand you up, did he? No. He was there. But when it came down to it, I just didn't feel like going. Good. Shouldn't be hanging about with a sap like him. Not now my dad's back. Oh, yeah. Well, when I want advice from you about my love life, I'll ask you. But the sooner you stop this women's lib like, the better. You know perfectly well what this is about. It has got nothing to do with women's lib. Now, mind your own flaming business. Won't be long now, Dad. I want you alive more than anything. I need you. TJ needs you. I've called him TJ, but... <laughs> I've been remembering all the things you said when Chris was dying. So, if you don't make it, I want you to know the best. <laughs> I think you should go home now, don't you? There's nothing more you can do here tonight. When will we know? Know what? If the drugs are working, if they're gonna kill him. If he makes it through the night, he's got a very good chance. He's waiting for me. <laughs> 